In the sample project that we previewed much earlier, we saw some milestone tasks. So there's milestones that appear on the Gantt chart as black diamonds. Now it's quite useful to have milestone tasks usually at the end of each section. So we might have a milestone at the end of empty room and then another milestone at the end of prep room. To add a milestone task in, we simply add a task as normal. So I can go to here, insert a task. Remember that when you do it here and right click, it will always be above the current line. Inside here where I write the name of the new task, I'm going to put empty room milestone. Now to make this task a milestone task, I simply give it a duration of zero. I don't need to put D, M, M, O, W, it's just zero. And you can see it defaults to days anyway, but it's zero days. And over in the Gantt chart, I get my little diamond, which is my milestone, with the date of the milestone, which is January the 1st. So it only shows the month and the year. The same for here. I don't need to insert because it's the last task in the system. Prep room milestone, and again zero in the duration, gives me another little black diamond in the Gantt chart with the date of the milestone, 1 slash 1, January the 1st. Now the reason the milestones are here and not at the end of that section is because they're not joined together yet, there's no links in place. As soon as they start getting linked together, the milestones will effectively become the last point of that section. And I will then have on my Gantt chart physical representation of the date of that section finishing. Well, the date of the planned finishing of that section. Everything is just a plan until we start doing it. So that's the easy way to add milestones in. Simply give them a duration of zero and you will see a milestone marker in the Gantt chart with, by default, the month and the date. Now another type of task is an estimated task. Now you will have noticed that when you add a new task, Let's just put one in as an example. Then the default duration is one day question mark. That question mark means that the duration is estimated. So if we want to add in our own estimated durations, we simply add some question marks. So let's delete task 20. It may be that I'm not really sure how long it's going to take to fill the woodwork holes because we don't know how many woodwork holes there are. So instead of having six hours in there, I'm going to click into the duration and just add a question mark to the end. And that makes it an estimated six hours. And when I tab through, you see I get the question mark in there quite happily. And the question mark is also encompassed in the summary. So five days question mark is now an estimated duration for the prep room. Ideally, because in effect, all of these durations are estimated, what you're doing with the estimated flag is saying, I'm really, really not sure at all what the duration is here. So I'm going to put it down as estimated. And what I need to do is some research by myself or with my joiner to say, how long is it going to take to fill all these woodwork holes and put a more accurate guess or more accurate quotation into that full woodwork holes duration. So I simply add the question mark and that makes the task an estimated task. Now there are two other ways of doing exactly what we've just done. Both adding the estimated flag there and making a milestone, we can do either or both of those in the task information box. Now the task information box is brought up when you either double click a task, that brings up the task information box, or you select a task and click information up here on the task ribbon. That brings up the task information box or we do Shift and F2 from your keyboard. And that brings up the task information box. So there's three ways of getting to the task information box. But the bit that we're interested in is if we want to make a task estimated, rather than just entering the comma after the duration, we can come into the task information box and click estimated. Now this can be quite useful if there are a lot of tasks that need changing to estimated. Instead of going in and changing all of them to question marks, we can highlight multiple tasks, come into the task information and make them all estimated by clicking the box and making sure that the tick is there. Okay, they all then become estimated tasks. So you can see that that task information box, although it might seem, well, I can just click in the duration, and put a question mark. For multiple task changes, the task information box certainly becomes a quicker option. Now you can do the task information box for setting the milestones as well. Because if we take our milestone, 
and go into the task information box. On the advanced tab is the bit that says mark task as milestone. So you could do that for any task. We could say buy new furniture. Let's make that a milestone. Information, advanced, mark it as a milestone. OK. And you'll see that it gets marked as a milestone, but it retains its duration in this case. We don't see that duration on the Gantt chart. So that then becomes a little bit of an anomaly in that it has a duration, but it's also a milestone. Therefore, we see the milestone at the end of the task's duration. But we don't get the duration marked on here, we just see its date at the end. If you want to turn the milestone off, go back into the task information and remove the tick. OK. And then it goes back to showing its normal duration. So by marking a task as a milestone in the task information, it does not take away the duration. It places the marker on the Gantt chart at the end of that duration, but doesn't display progress bar. So that's estimated tasks and milestones.